This bridge is inspected every two years. Pontiac's mayor says he was shocked by what was found here. There's infrastructure under the bridge that has rusty holes in it, and the total cost for reconstruction, millions of dollars. When you bike everywhere, it's hard to avoid faulty infrastructure. Michael Buford says the MLK Junior Boulevard Bridge is one of Pontiac's biggest eyesores. I just rolled past it and just looked at it and it, was, it just looked disgusting. The old, old bridge that needs to be torn out. The bridge will be coming down eventually. A July inspection done on a section where the bridge hovers over railroad tracks showed major deterioration of metal joists that keep the bridge standing. Pictures from the report show rusty holes and cracked concrete on the road and railings. They obviously saw the serious deterioration of the bridge and decided and recommended that it be shut down immediately. And of course, that was a, an obvious decision to make. The bridge is shut down to all car, bicyclists, and pedestrian traffic. Not everyone is taking the posted warning seriously. There was a sign. I just kind of disregarded that, to be quite honest. Councilwoman Melanie Rutherford says the closure impacts her district. She understands it's frustrating having to find another route, but the alternative is much worse. If that bridge collapses with somebody on there, then lives are going to be lost, property is going to be damaged. So we as a city are doing the best that we can to make sure that we come up with a solution to get this bridge repaired. We're currently seeking both public and private funding. Pontiac Mayor Tim Grimal says they are seeking funding from the state. Between demolition and the reconstruction, he says it will cost $9 million. There is a bridge program at the state level that uh, we're confident we'll uh, provide about 95% of the needed funds for this reconstruction of the bridge, uh, which will leave the city with a required 5% match. Grimal says that city officials will hopefully know by November what state and federal funds are available for this project. He says hopefully the rebuild will be done by next year. Worst case scenario, it would be pushed to 2024. In Pontiac, I'm Alex Bozarjian for 7 Action News.